Welcome back to Legend Annie. If you had watched my previous video, you know that I tried Filipino food for the first time in Singapore. We were at El Mesa at Clarkie, which was pretty good, but I received a few questions why I have not tried a few of those other classic Filipino dishes. For example, uh, pork sisik, halo halo, and others. So that's why I chose today uh, to try another Filipino place which is Kuyas Kusinang Pinoy. It is located opposite of the National Library building and we are gonna try how it tastes here today. What would be Filipino food without my friend Mark? It's me again. Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm going to say it. This is the Fiesta Plata? Yes, All right. Thank you. So the restaurant is called Kuya's Kusinan Pinoy? Yeah. So Kuya means? Older brother. Older brother. Kusinang means kitchen. Yeah. I want you to try this one. This is the bone marrow. This is the bone marrow? Yeah. yeah. If in Bangus we're fighting for the fat, in the Bulalo we're fighting for this one. Oh, nice. It's really... Mm. Cheers. It's nice. How do you describe bone marrow? I barely eat bone marrow actually. It's like the umami flavor. It's very soft and melty, buttery kind of. Uh, consistency melting in your mouth. Don't forget to nibble off the meat from this bone after enjoying the bone marrow. Mm. They have big chunks of beef in here. Potato and then the corn. I love the corn. Now I'm trying the beef inside the gulalo soup. Quite enough. Always have a coke with the food. So I'm trying now the CC. CC? The pig face. Okay. You like it? You like it? Oh my god. It looks oily. But oil always means um, Delicious. flavor, right? <laughs> pork sick sick, made of uh, pork face and ears, right? Yes. Everything in the head. Everything from a pig head. Um, with some rice. Slightly spicy. So, um, pork sisik? Yeah, pork sisik. Is something for uh, while drinking? Yes, it's famous uh, as a drinking food. Yes. What else do you eat when drinking in Philippines? This one you can put in the stick and then grill. Uh, pork belly. And then the intestines. And then peanuts. We peanuts. call it adobong mane, adobong peanut. Peanut, but you cook it as an adobo. Adobo means actually soy, right? Yeah. Yes, Have soy and vinegar. One of the famous uh, dishes in the Philippines are adobo and sinigang. What is sinigang in? It's like a uh, tom yam. It's like a oh. uh, tom yam version of the Philippines. Tom yam soup kind of yeah. version. But it's not. It's sour, but it's not hot. It's not spicy. It's not, this sisig is really... Um, it's for people who can take um, eating fatty food, I would say, right? So it, it, you will always have this kind of fattiness taste. Yeah. Onions, chili, oil. Hmm. I can't taste any weird taste at all from face or ears or whatever. Pretty delicious, kind of crispy from this hot plate that they are serving it on. Mm, it's nice. It's nice with this hotness, a little chili. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's try the embut em embutido. Embutido. What was it made of? Uh, ground pork, uh, egg, some vegetable like the carrot, capsicum, raisins. Raisins, yes. Yeah. Sausage? Yeah, sausage. Wow, this looks pretty. So the embutido has a very meat loafy, soft texture. Mm. This embutido so masarap. So braho, nasarapang, sapakarin. So, how is the embutido? I love it. You love it? Yeah. You have to dip it in ketchup, okay? This tastes like a proper meatloaf, sausage loaf, 
mixed with egg, vegetables, ham, perfection. I love it. This tastes really good. This is something you eat like on a daily basis in the Philippines? No, actually, you can eat this during whenever you have occasions. Occasions? Yeah. You eat it often for occasions? Yeah, because in the Philippines, for example, you have uh, visitors coming to your home for visitors. whatever yeah. for whatever occasion it is. Yeah. And then the impetito, sometimes you also give it to the visitors so that they can take it home. You mean as a gift to bring a home? Gift, yes. If you come to Kuya's Kusinang Pinoy, you can only try the embutido if you order the fiesta platter. The platter is meant to be for three to four packs. That's why the food that we ordered today is uh, good enough for the two of us, uh, to say the least. But definitely worth it to try this embutido and to try the fiesta platter. I'm gonna try some of the spring rolls. Mm. So these are Shanghai spring rolls. Yeah. Mm. They made it here. Very good. The spring roll is pretty thin. No, yeah, you it's can pretty see. thin. Is it normal? Some is thin, some is uh, thick. Okay. And then uh, remember what I told you about invitido? Mm -hmm. That we give it to the visitors. And also this one. Spring rolls as well? Yeah. No wonder it's called Fiesta Plata. It feels like we're eating at home. It's very cozy, quiet, some kind of background music. The pork belly is not bad here. Cheers. <laughs> it's very fatty. Let's try the chicken. Cheers. <laughs> mm. I think you can never go wrong with chicken, fried chicken. Mm. It's always pretty good. Juicy, crispy, crunchy. Mm. Pretty good fried chicken. So what, this is one is... of the famous desserts in the Philippines. Okay, it's what is this? Halo Halo. Yeah. Halo Halo in this translation is a um, mix mix. Because mix. you really have to mix all the ingredients all together. And there's uh, ice cream on top. There's a ube. What is this orange thing? It's a leche flan. Nata de coco, the white one. Nata de coco. The white square one here. Nata de coco, yeah. And then you have some like sago. And then of course ice. Now we're gonna try the halo halo. We're gonna mix it in as the name suggests. So this is coconut Sorry. ice cream. <laughs> Sometimes or originally it should also be uh, ube uh, flavored ice cream. I'm gonna try the leche flan. I know exactly what it tastes like. Toffee kind of caramel pudding. Very sweet and milky. I must be honest, I love coconut flavor in general. So this is a, a top plus for me. Is it the way it's supposed to be for you? I tried uh, Halo Halo in one of the famous restaurants here in, in the Philippines also. Mm -hmm. It's located in Orchard, but this one is better, a lot better. I will ask them. How long actually uh, they have opened up for? So this is Ade. Ade means sister. Yeah, sister. What is your actual name? Marie. 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 Yeah. Okay, the whole place is actually a family-run place. They are operating since... September 2020. September 2020. One and a half years. One and a half years. I'm surprised that they're family. I didn't know. Yeah, they have, <laughs> it's a great family. And the place is uh, really cozy and really nice. Yeah, it really so feels like you're eating at home here. Yeah, so really. that's why we have the home-cooked meals right here, uh, which changes every day. So oh, the home-cooked meals change every day? Yeah, the daily meal. Yeah. Okay, and wow. Some of them are asking for set C also, so three dishes, but we don't have that yet. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Thanks a lot, Mary. Uh, thank you, thank you. Business is doing well. A bit tough due to COVID uh, situations. Uh, previously, there was no dine-in for a certain time. So, what is your, your review of uh, Kuya's Kusinang <coughs> Pinoy place? In total, we paid, I think, 70-ish dollars. Decent price for a huge meal. Actually, you can come here and order this for four people, I think. Quality? Oh, good also. Very Especially good. the embutido. It's a must try. And the sisi. You wouldn't find the embutido in some of the restaurants here in Singapore. So if you want to have an embutido, you should go here. 
and then the halo halo is good. I think that uh, you should definitely come and try this place out. I think that's uh, very underrated or not yet very popular or well-known place because it's pretty new. So uh, check it out and let me know how you like it. Believe me, as a Filipino, I recommend this place. Hope you enjoyed the eating with us today again. And looking forward to part three at some point. Bye.